It's hard on him, man. I'm trying to be a better person, but these people don't make it easy for you, man. They keep bringing up your past. Yeah, I know I killed two or three guys, 50 in total, but I did my time for that. I did it! I deserve love. But don't kill me over here, man! Huh. Like, Miss Sharon's I wrong. I can see that you're getting more comfortable expressing yourself. That's great. That, that's excellent. See, that's what we're here for at these meetings. We're really just here to help each other and express ourselves, you know? Um, Jesus, what's going on with you these days, man? You must say, hombre. I've been going through a lot. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Like, I'm going look, you know? Yesterday, my girl tried to break up with me. Said she needed space. <laughs> so I put my hands around her neck. And I started to squeeze. And I said to her, in her ear, Sabes que no puedes respirar en el espacio. But then I let go. Because I'm a different man, eh? <laughs> And that's thanks to you and to this group. Hmm. So you're doing better. That's good to know. Last time they had to call the SWAT team on you, right? Wow. Good stuff. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. So, John, you were you were here last week, but you kind of kept quiet. Uh, anything to share with us? What's going on? Wow. I mean, all you guys with these cool stories when. I don't even feel like talking about mine anymore. It's stupid compared to you guys. Hey, nothing is stupid though, eh? Well, you stupid if you think something is stupid. Um, I think what the soothsayer is trying to say is that nothing is stupid. This is a safe place where you can share your feelings. Just let us have it. Okay. I mean, this is gonna be so dumb. <laughs> I mean, because you guys talking about all these attempted murders and, and all these other cool stuff and... Meanwhile, I'm over here, I just like to kick dogs. <laughs> what? What? Like, dogs? Like dogs, dogs? <laughs> yeah, like dogs, dogs. Okay, well, like small dogs oh, mainly, but God. also puppies, also puppies. Oh yeah. my gosh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they can get it too. Definitely. You'll send a nigga to jail, man. Okay, like, you know when they say, oh, they're so cute, I want to eat them. Well, I tend to kick them. Oh! No, Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold me, hold, just hold up. How hard did you kick those dogs? See, right now you just. Oh, I saw them flying. <laughs> Running. Kick! <laughs> like some football? You know like at the when they do the yard kick? Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. G guys, I don't see what the big deal is. Like, my stuff is nowhere as crazy as you guys. I mean, just last week, Patrice told us a story about how she put crabs in her husband's car when she caught him cheating. I, that's crazy. Why not compare me to you? Oh, I, I want to see you. You're mad? Mad? No, I'm not mad. I'm just trying to say you guys have these awesome stories while I'm here talking about kicking puppies because I got nothing else better to do. Mm. Come on, man. See, when I hear your stories, I don't even think I should be here. Oh, well, Effie, why are we even listening to this guy? Huh? I know you say this is a safe place, but he got to go. He's local. <laughs> I really don't see what the big deal is. All I do is... So I'm going to have to actually leave. Wait, you're kicking me out now? What, what I do? <laughs> okay, you guys are really freaking out now. Freaking... Get out of here before I call the police. Get out! Okay, fine, fine, I'll go. Cheers. Where are those? I'm sorry, everyone. I know that I said that this place is a safe place for people, but some people are just too crazy. Anyway, Patrice, how's your husband coping? 